In our last video, we made a full adder. What we're going to do this time is slightly different. We're going to wire up our full adder and we're going to chain a few of them together in order to make our binary adder work with four bits. Now, you can see this is our full adder working and I can test it like this. One plus one plus one is one carry one. Now, what we're going to do instead of using these switches is we're actually going to use a little uh, input. Um, so first of all, we need to put on some more full adders. We're going to use four bits, so we're going to need four full adders. Put the first one up here, and if I can grab the second one, it's a bit tricky this sometimes, I'm going to put that directly underneath. There we are, four full adders. So you need one of these for each bit that you're going to add. Now we want to be able to input the bits. So, very, very easy. I'm gonna take a bit like this, and it comes up with a screen. Oh, can't see it, it's off screen. But it asks you how many bits you want. I'm gonna select four. That's our first four bit number. That's our second four bit number. And then lastly, we want an output, which is going to be another four bit number. So how do we wire this up? It's quite simple once you get the key. Oh, let's put on an overflow as well, yeah. It's quite simple once you get the idea. The first bit of the first number goes to the first adder. The second bit of the first number goes to the second adder. The third bit to the third adder. And the fourth bit to the fourth adder. You do exactly the same to the second pin Hang on a minute. No, that one's wrong. Uh, let's delete those. Okay, you get the second pin. There we are. Third pin to the third adder. And fourth pin down to the fourth adder. Now we want to wire up the carry. So the carry out of the first adder goes to the carry in of the second. Out of the second goes to the out of the third and so on. And then lastly, we take the sum and we put it into the output. So, the sum of the first adder goes into the first bit of the output. Like that, all the way down. Now, if you've seen the video on binary overflow, this is our overflow error light. So it's going to be wrong if we do this. And so let's put in some things. So, 1-1, one, one, which is 3, plus 1, which is 1, becomes 4, 0, 1, 0, 0. I'm going to change these into decimal by clicking on the little label underneath. There we are. And we can see 3 plus 1 is 4. 5, 6 plus 1 is 7. All the way through, we can just check these and they'll come on. If we try and add up numbers that are too big, they can't be stored in four bits, which as you may remember means they're more than 15. It will light up the overflow light and that's how we know that the system has fallen over. Try making your own adder. Watch this as many times as you like.